Well, hello everybody and welcome back. Today, we are going to ask the ultimate question. Can an app identify a rock? Now, I've gone through some of my rocks and I grabbed out a kind of wide variety of rocks here that I want to see if various apps can identify what they are. Some of them are relatively easy and some of them are more difficult. So we're going to be testing three apps today and these are apps that I have seen um, used the most frequently. So like rock identifier apps, crystal identifier apps, and things like that to see if they really can help you in identifying your rocks. Because one of the biggest questions I get asked is, what rock is this? How do I know what kind of rock I have once I find it? It maybe looks really cool, but what exactly is it? So that's what I'm hoping to answer today. Now, I've heard that some of these rock apps are not very accurate. Um, I have used the, the first one that we're going to be trying today before in the past, and I, again, also did not find it to be very accurate. Um, but who knows? I did pick some easy rocks that I'm hoping it should, if it is even a little bit quality, be able to identify. And then again, like I said, I picked some more difficult rocks as well. Then in part two of this video, we're going to talk about how can you actually identify rocks. So if the rock app doesn't work, what can you do to help you identify rocks that you find in creeks and rivers on the side of the road, um, anywhere and things like that. And before we begin, make sure you subscribe to this channel. All right, let's get started. So as you can see, I did lay down a black folder here. Um, I'm trying to give the background the most chance of helping to identify our rocks so that it does have just one plain background in order to help us out here. You can see that I did select quite a wide variety of rocks as well um, and I'm hoping that it's really able to identify these rocks that we have here. If you want to take a second you can even pause the video to see if you can identify the rocks before we go through and identify them ourselves. You'll also notice that I do have some fossils here. Now, the apps that we have didn't mention anything about fossils, but I figured I would try it out just to see if they are able to tell what a fossil is or even the distinction between rocks, crystals, and fossils. Okay, so let's take a look at our first rock. So I'll be using my phone, of course, to identify these rocks using three different apps. And you can see them here on the screen. Um, the first one is the rock identifier the crystal detector, and then the stone identifier. So I'm hoping that one of these three will be able to um, help tell us what the rocks are, and then we can also compare the differences between the three. So first, let's look at our rock identifier. Now, this one um, is the one that I've seen most used the most often. And I have used this before. Jeepers, it's got a lot of things. But I... Um, I haven't used it in a while yet. I actually had to re-download it. So let's take a look here. Focus on the prettiest side of the stone filling half the frame. So obviously we can't do all of them. Now I think I'm going to pick this one first because I think that it would probably be the easiest to identify um, if we're going to be identifying them because it is very, very clearly, um, if you know anything about agates, it is very clearly a beautiful agate. So I'm going to put this like this. And let's see if we can identify our rock. Okay, so we took the picture. Carnelian agate. Okay, okay. So it kind of goes through and shows you um, some different things of what they think it could be. A Botswanian agate. A uh, agate. Or it just kind of has another option. So I would say that this one was accurate. It guessed it correctly. Um, it is a beautiful agate. And it does give you three different kinds, too. So that was pretty accurate. I was really hoping that that would be able to identify the agate, like I said, um, because it is a very obvious. Now we're gonna go through and look at the crystal detector and see if it is able to identify our agate as well. And of course, everything has these um, ads to, to upgrade. Okay, open camera, let's see. Continue with limited version. Maybe it won't even let us. Okay, well, uh, this app here, Crystal Detector, was immediately a dud. It won't even let me open the camera to identify the agate um, without upgrading it to, of course, everything's a monthly subscription. And I'm not gonna do that. So, <laughs> that one's out of the question. I guess we'll work on the stone identifier one. So let's see, camera, and we'll see if it can also identify our agate. Okay, get a nice clear picture. Of 
course, it tells us to upgrade, but we are not doing that. And I assume I hit confirm. Okay, well that one did not work either. <laughs> okay, let's try it. We'll try this one one more time um, and we'll see. Okay, let's take our picture. I use photo. Maybe I will this time um, kind of really zoom in oopsies, on the agate to help it. Maybe that was the problem. It was just too much blank space. Okay, we'll try that and see if this works. Again, tells us to upgrade, but we're not upgrading. Maybe I have to hit gallery, description, Wikipedia, other results. Okay, confirm. Well, I guess that one is a dud as well. So the crystal detector and the stone identifier are both duds. These are the ones that I just typed into the app store. So I'll show you um, if you just type in rock identifier. Um, this top one is the one that we just used for the first time. Rock identifier stone. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, so we're back. The second two crystal detector and stone identifier, like I said, just literally don't work at all. The first rock identifier did identify that our first rock was an agate. Now, as you can see, I have two more. This one is another rock identifier and we'll see. Maybe this one will give us some luck. Okay. Oh, it's even got a fancy little circle. That might have been a little too close, but we'll see. Okay, this one does have an ad, so we'll just wait through that. Okay, so we do have one that actually will give us agate. Um, it is showing an agate, Botswanian agate, apricot agate, but it doesn't have a picture, uh, carnelian agate, blue lace agate, so at least it is also coming up with agate, okay? So better luck than the other ones. Let's try this crystal ID one now and see if it's able to identify the agate. And again, of course it has a subscription because of course they always do. Okay, so this one's giving us some tips here. Uh, I think we also have, all right. So let's try this one out. This one is the crystal identifier. Hey. Fingers crossed that this one works. Okay, so it's telling us again that we have to upgrade. I just don't understand why it does that, but okay, it does, let's see, match found. I'm not trying the seven day free trial. So this one, <laughs> so this one also seems to be a dud, the crystal identifier. Now, if you're willing to pay money for these, I highly recommend that you're not willing to pay money for these. Um, maybe it would identify it, but the likelihood of you getting accurate results is really not that likely for having to pay a subscription every month. So I'm going to delete these ones that didn't work. Okay, so now we're just left with our two apps that actually did work and did not make us pay money. So let's try another rock and see if we can get accurate results. So here are the ones that we have. Let's maybe do this one I think would be another easy one, our amethyst here. It's very clearly a amethyst. So I'm hoping it's also able to identify this one. Let's maybe put it sideways. There we go. All right, it's scanning. Hey, look at that. And it was, it was able to identify that this also is an amethyst. Um, let's see, yep, and that's the only result for that one. So let's use the rock identifier now and see if that one can give us similar results. Again, tries to get us to upgrade. Oh, and it does, it says amethyst, oh, or fluorite. Okay, so it does give us another option, milky quartz. Oh, so it's giving us a lot of options here. Um, but the first one that they said that it was is amethyst, so I would call it successful as well. Now let's do something that's a little bit more tricky. Let's maybe do, let's do this one right here. So this is also an agate. However, the bands are super, super difficult to see because they're very small and they're like the same color as the agate. So we're gonna see if it can identify that this is an agate. My guess is it's probably gonna say that it's either chalcedony or maybe even red jasper. So we'll, we'll throw in a tough one for it. Okay, so again, first let's use the rock identifier. And again, it's really difficult to see those bands. You can kind of see them, but let's see if it can figure out that this is in fact an amethyst. Watch an ad to continue. Let's not, let's see. Okay, so we have to watch this ad in order to get our results. So we'll do that really quick. 
Also, I am more okay with watching an ad than than making us upgrade. Um, I understand that the people who make these apps do have to make money too. I, it just drives me crazy when you have to like either watch an ad for every single thing or you have to upgrade and it won't let you do anything else. Okay, so our ad is done and here are the results. It says it's a red jasper. <laughs> so that's kind of what I was thinking would happen. Um, let's see if egg gets in here. Oh, carnelian egg. Okay, so that is the second option. So it didn't guess it exactly, but it, it did at least give it a, a good enough go at it. So carnelian agate, it also said it could be a type of chert. So it didn't guess it the first try, but it did say the second one, okay? So not bad. We'll try this one here and we'll see if we can get our accurate result. Again, try to make us upgrade. Oh, and again, this one also thinks it's red jasper. The second option is carnelian agate, then a regular agate, tiger's eye, sunstone, kind of just jumping all over the place there at the end. But again, that's actually not too bad. It did better than I thought it would. All right, so I'm gonna give it another test here and we're gonna do a bit of porphyry. Um, this might be a little bit more difficult for it to identify. So we'll see if it's able to identify our bit of porphyry. And again, with these apps, um, as you can see at the top, Unlimited IDs. This is letting me know that I'm not going to be able to sit here and identify like 20 different rocks. So I most likely am not even going to get through the pile that I have here um, without upgrading. And like I said, I don't think it's worth upgrading, but maybe you do find value in it and, and you want to. So let's look at our porphyry here. Okay, we'll get a nice good picture of it. It does blend in a little bit with the background, so hopefully it's able to see orbicular jasper. Okay, so that's not correct. Jasper, again, not correct. Correct. Rhyolite. So it was not able to identify our porphyry. Let's see if the other one can. Okay, we'll take our picture. Again, telling us to upgrade. So this one's playing another ad currently, so we'll just let that play out. So here are our results for the second rock identifier. Uh, picture Jasper, not correct. Leopard skin, must be another type of Jasper. Nope, petrified wood, nope, tiger's eye. Unikite. So none of them were accurate for our porphyry here. Um, it is porphyry on basalt, so it is a little bit more challenging. It would have to have guessed two different rocks um, kind of in one there. I didn't think that it would get that one. So I'm gonna jump over to maybe a fossil and see if it's able to identify a fossil or if it can't see what it does call it or if it says like this is not a rock type of thing. So let's do this fossil, and I'm actually not 100% sure what this is. I'm not quite as versed in fossils. So I know that it, to me at least, it looks kind of like maybe a jawbone of some sort of animal, and these are like the teeth on the top. So let's see if it can identify our fossil. Okay, so let's try out this fossil. Here, I don't know what the best, maybe like this, the best angle for it. Oh, see, it doesn't really stand up very well. Let's try it, we'll try it like that, because then you can kind of see the fossil bit. Oh, we got some porphyry in the corner there, but uh, see? Limestone, chert, chalcedony are its guesses. So it wasn't able to identify that this was a fossil. See if the second rock identifier can do any better. Okay, again, it says limestone, sandstone, quartzite, coral, quartz. So again, wasn't able to determine that this was a fossil. Now, this one I was expecting it not to get right because it is a fossil and it is not a fossil identifier. It is a rock identifier. So let's try our little cow rock here. At least that's what I like to call it and see if it is able to identify what this one is. Now this one is a tumbled stone. So this will be our first tumbled stone that we'll be trying to identify. And I wanted to see if um, having a tumbled stone would make any sort of difference or not. So again, let's take our picture and see. And of course we have to watch an ad, so we'll uh, get through that really quick. Okay, so it did guess it correctly. Um, obviously tumbling really didn't matter. It is zebra marble. So let's see if the second app can identify it as well. All right, ooh, so this one was not quite as accurate here. It says snowflake obsidian, which it is clearly not. Um, you can even tell in the picture there that they don't look very similar. Diorite, uh, nope, not that either. 
not a Dalmatian stone, leopard skin, howlite. So the second app, Rock Identifier, was not able to accurately tell what our zebra marble is. Okay, we're gonna go for another difficult, I would say, stone here. This one is an iron stone. So it is going to be difficult because it is literally just plain black. Um, we'll see if it's able to identify our iron stone. Because it's black, also, I will be doing it on my white table instead of on the black surface just to give it a better chance. So we'll open our rock identifier and let's see if it can guess it. Black chalcedony, okay, so it, it tried. Black tourmalite, new. No. Basalt, new. No. All right, so it was not able to guess this one. Let's see if our other app can do better. Ooh, okay, this one's coming up with some weird ones. Tur oh, I guess terminal light, termaline. Is that close to the other one, maybe? Uh, obsidian, okay, okay. So a, a good guess, but not correct. Biotite, snowflake obsidian, hematite. Ooh, it's getting closer with the hematite but again, not able to identify our iron stone. Okay, let's do another more challenging one um, that might not quite be as obvious. So this one is Epidote and Basalt. Now this again, I think is gonna be more challenging for the app because it is more than one rock. Um, so we'll see if it can identify ones like this. And another thing I wanted to say too about these apps is a lot of the times you're not really gonna be using them for identifying really well-known rocks like amethyst, um, very obvious agates, things like that, unless you are, you know, a very, very true beginner, which maybe these apps will be beneficial for you. Um, but a lot of the times when I'm kind of questioning what a rock is, it's going to be more rocks that look like this, that are just super odd looking, super uncommon. Um, and I'm like, what on earth could this possibly be? Um, and I really don't think that these apps are very beneficial for those types of rocks, but we'll see. Maybe I'll be proved wrong right now. So let's find out. All right, rock identifier first, and let's give it a go. See what it says. Okay, so it got the basalt part right. That is pretty good. So it did get the, um, the host rock, basalt. Rhyolite, again, not rhyolite. Ocean Jasper, ooh, that's pretty, but that's not correct. So it was, I don't know, would we say like half half right, right? So maybe if you know that it's basalt, then you could start searching the web um, for things like what, what can basalt be a host rock for? But again, that would actually probably not help you very much because it can be a host rock for like a lot of things. <laughs> Let's try our second app. Again, another picture. Okay, so here are our results. Again, Ocean Jasper, so that was another one that was common between the two, but not correct. Leopard skin, snowflake obsidian, a conglomerate of some sort. I mean, it's not wrong there, it is a conglomerate, um, but that's a very broad term. So a conglomerate kind of means like more than one rock put together. Um, so very broad. So no, this one wasn't even close. The rock identifier has seemed to be a little bit more accurate, um, but still it is not able to identify every single rock that we've given it. Okay, so let's try another relatively, I would say, easy one. Here is a geode. This is a really cool looking geode. Um, here's the back. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm thinking that if it's not able to get it right, it's probably going to say that it's like quartz. Um, just plain quartz. So we'll see. All right, so we'll take a look at our rock identifier first again here. And another downfall of an app like this is it's not able to see all sides of the rock. Like it doesn't ask for multiple pictures. Um, this one even says like just show the, the most beautiful side. So not being able to see that this quartz does have this outer shell that is in fact, like the outside of the geode might actually be a downfall to the rock identification app. Um, it would be nice if it if it required pictures from, you know, maybe either two sides or a few different angles, which might lead it to be a little bit more accurate. Okay, so it did say kind of what I thought it was going to say. It says here it's a clear quartz, which it is not. It does just say that this is a plain quartz and it doesn't even give any other options. So let's see what the rock identifier, the second one says. All right. Okay, oh, so this one is saying a milky quartz. That's kind of interesting because 
If it's going to guess anything, I would think that it would guess a, like, just a crystal quartz, which is, like, you know, where you can see the points, as you can clearly see on this geode. Um, but milky quartz, that's kind of a, a weird one. Quartzite, limestone, gypsum, quartz. So again, this one was not accurate. So, so far we had our amethyst here, which was able to be identified. This one I think was close, not able to be identified, not able to be identified, was for both of the apps, was not, and then was for one of them, kind of, not really, um, and then the other, not at all. So, oh, and this one, which I think the first rock identifier app got correctly, but the second did not. Yeah, it said it was Snowflake Obsidian. So here are the ones that we have left. I'll go through and tell you what they are. This is a Mary Ellen Jasper. We have another fossil here. This is Sodalite. This is an agate, which I don't think it'd be able to identify. This is Fluorite, another fossil. This would be a polished agate. We have some pyrite, fluorite, unikite, dendritic sprays here. Oh, and this one, they weren't able to identify either. So overall, my thoughts on the rock identification apps are, I don't know, it's kind of a mixed bag for me. Yes, they can work if you are giving them rocks that are very easy to be identified and that typically you aren't going to be using a rock identification app to identify, if that makes sense. So things that are very obvious. It did actually impress me with the accuracy of some of the other stones, and some did seem at least relatively close, but others were, were not even in the ballpark. Out of the two, that first rock identifier app with the brown background, I think did obviously outperform the second one. Overall, like I said, I don't usually use these apps because the, the rocks that I want to identify are ones that are more uncommon and would be really difficult for just one single picture to identify. Now, is this something that maybe you want to try and use? Absolutely. Go ahead if you want to, to use it and if it even gives you a better idea of what different rocks are or what they could be, then great and, you know, go for it. The only other thing that I also didn't like is that Yes, they are free apps, and so, you know, I, I can't be too picky and I can't complain too much, but they did have a lot of ads, and then all of the ones that we looked at required some sort of subscription service, which just, I mean, kind of a, a whole nother tangent there is, this drives me kind of nuts because it's like every app I download now is like a subscription service, and it's just, it drives me crazy. I'd rather just pay for the app right up front than have to pay the subscription, but that's besides the point. <laughs> So overall, I'd say if you think it might be beneficial for you, go ahead. Maybe it'll give you a place to start. I personally probably won't be using these apps again, but it was kind of fun to see what it was able to do. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. And like I said, in the next video, I'm going to go through and show you how I personally identify rocks that I do not know what they are. So I kind of have my own methods and there are a couple of resources that I like to use that really help me with identifying rocks. So check that out in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. And if you're new here, I'd love it if you subscribe to this channel. I make new videos like this every single week and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!